<laughs> Unlike Mitch Connolly, I think that's his name, the uh, Republican, uh, what do you call that? Majority leader. Majority leader. He says on national TV, he said marijuana kills. <laughs> There's a demonstration of how stupid our government is. Thank you. I love Bob.
Hey, I'll have two. Okay. That was great. <laughs> Tragic. Party foul. Party foul. Someone's in trouble. Oh, and I'd like to thank everybody who made it out here to clean. That was a great gesture. You know? An illustration that we are not the people that they make us out to be in the major media campaign. <laughs> you doing the countdown, bro? I think you'll make a big announcement or something. Yeah. <laughs> I think yeah, yeah, woman just walked back inside. She's like, oh, she smelled it. Can <laughs> 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 someone go there? Too bad. You know, mids out here. Thank you. Abolish mids. Mids <laughs> <laughs> uh, only. I need you to look at my bullhorn. <laughs> Anybody out in the crowd want to hit this? <laughs> I will. Rich, I'll hit her here. Everybody's doing it. <laughs> How long we got? Time comes. One minute, one minute. <laughs> one minute. One minute. Anybody got a minute? It's been more than a minute. Oh my God. Happy holidays, everyone. Dude. <laughs> what timing, holy shit. 
And then congrats for making it through, dude. That shit sucks. Munchy dude. <laughs> oh wait, zoom in. Zoom in. The munchy dude. Hold the fish on, munchy dude. And then it's happening again next year. And Jerry is a customer and his supplier. We have an excellent communications network at our disposal. And it is a distribution network. Use it to get your friends out here next year. Also, there's a November 5th event for those of us who can't quite I like it. Yeah, oh, I do that. Whenever I find myself get becoming an irritable person, I call up one of the protective squads at the NYPD and dress them down for brutalizing the occupant. Just blow off steam. Blow off that or don't change that. We haven't heard any really music out here. So there's more information in the Don't Take the Plea Deal flyers. If you haven't got one, come see me. I've got a bunch of them. Also, uh, Daraxis here has them as well. Uh, so come on up, make sure you get that information. It's really important because the system is built on your obedience. As long as you keep going along to get along, you're going to keep getting what you've always gotten. So please consider not taking the plea deal. There are risks involved. But nothing worth doing is easy. Anyway, come on up and get the, uh, the flyer if you haven't gotten one. I think you'll enjoy it. And I usually don't. We each individually own ourselves. Well, hopefully you can keep up with us. Well, they can die. Louder, go louder! Rio! Rio! Mike, go water! on the stand 
and it resulted in uh, one person being saved from an undercover that was trying to sting him down the line. So it's all because uh, Weta Claus went to court instead of taking the plea deal, and he ended up uh, being convicted, unfortunately, but not of the felony charges that were originally against him. The jury actually used some level of jury nullification and didn't convict him of that charge, so it ended up working out okay. So again, you can learn more over at nhjury.com, the URL is down there at the bottom about jury nullification. It's something you want to tell your friends and family members about. So, to the tune of Here Comes Santa Claus, number five. Hands up, Weedy Claus, hands up.